Python, is it? Yes, and you are Eivor. I am. I hope this ruckus does not overwhelm you. We tend to drink and talk at equal speed. Not at all. The wood smoke from your fire pit does sting the eyes. But the warmth is welcome. Of course. It must be rather warm where you live. Where I live changes from week to week. But always I am with my mentor, Basim. Your mentor? For what cause? A noble one. A cause as true as the world is old. But let us leave it at that for now. I understand. But if you hope to stay tight-lipped for the rest of the night, keep clear of Tekla's mead. <laughs> ah, thank you for the warning. It will not be a problem. <laughs> you are Basim. You have a good memory. And you have no mead. Can I fix that? Sigurd spoke often of you on our journey. Called you his right arm, a celebrated warrior. I am honored to meet you. Likewise, Basim. And how did you come to meet my brother? He sat down in Constantinople some months ago to rest and resupply, he told me. But I knew otherwise. Men with eyes that gleam like his are always up to something more. I think he wished to raid the Hajj of Sophia. That sounds right. I will not bore you with the details of our meeting. But I liked your brother from the first. I saw something in him that captivated me, as if a forgotten memory of an old friendship had suddenly resurfaced. He has that effect on people. Enjoy your evening, Basil. <laughs> I thought long and hard on a gift worthy of you. You've snared my curiosity, brother. What is it? Not yet. Drinks first. <laughs> my first night in Thornburg in over two winters. It must end with me soaked and wall-eyed, shouting at the shadows of trolls. And you want me to sail with you on these honey waves? Yes. You are stuck with me, Dringul. Now drink. Thor to shame. <laughs> you have been away too long, brother. You do not know the spiced kick of Tekla's meat. Mm. It does have a new taste. I like it. <laughs> it is good to have you back, Sigurd. <laughs> yes. I've missed this terribly. When I first met Basim, I regaled him with tales of our homeland, and it was then I felt a hard longing to return at once. Come. This brings us to your gift. These excellent men were my shepherds through much of their homeland, the Abbasid Caliphate. They are a clan not joined by blood, but by a common idea. A brotherhood of shadows executing their own form of justice. In my time with them, they shared many of their most hidden secrets, for which I am grateful. And now... I gift one of these secrets to you. A weapon for the finest warrior I know. Python is not amused, it seems. Am I not worthy of this gift? It is not about worth, Eivor. It is a matter of devotion to our creed and... and Python. training. Please. <laughs> Mentor, I must protest. This is deeply unorthodox. Our wrist plate is a sacred Do tool. Do not make a fetish out of cold metal, Python. What matters is the mind of the one who wields it. Please, try it on. The blade should ride on the underside of your arm, to conceal it from your target. 
I have no wish to hide this. And I would rather not make the same mistake you two have. I like it. This is no mistake. This is a voluntary sacrifice to prove our devotion to... A good start, Eivor. But you must learn how to use it effectively. Outside. This is not something for all eyes. Lead on. Thank <laughs> you.